Hey everybody, I've got something exciting and wonderful for you to learn. It's about libraries. Uh, libraries. Now, when you think of libraries, you think of the kind you have in your city or town. And what do you use your library for? You use your library to teach you things that you don't know about, so you can do them. For instance, if I wanted to learn about how to program PLCs, I would go to my local library and there would be a book there on how to program PLCs. And after that, I would know how to program them or drive a truck, truck, or float a boat, any one of those things. Now, microprocessors, microcontrollers, and computers have files called libraries that are written by very intelligent people that help you do things that maybe you don't want to have to do yourself. Let's say your samurai robot. You wanted to hook up your samurai robot to a liquid crystal display and type a message out there. Well, you'd like to have a library for that. Or perhaps you'd like to add a servo onto your samurai to make a swing arm or, a, or, a, or some kind of a barrier that goes up and down. Libraries. Or how about a, uh, a keypad? Get a library for it, right? So where do you find these libraries? Well, having a look at this uh, IDE over here, if we go to Sketch, you'll see there's a uh, Include Library. Uh, menu item there and there's all kinds of libraries oh there's one for the liquid crystal display there's one for the keyboard if you want to add a keyboard on there's one for the servo and there's one for all kinds of little tricks you can do with your with your robot and there's hundreds more hundreds of people have been writing these libraries sometimes amazing libraries for you to install on your IDE now, one of our friends, Phil Duby from uh, the Western Canadian Robotics Society, he wrote a dandy. He wrote a library for us, for the samurai, that helps to uh, give us commands and instructions to really use the powerful features of the samurai. Now, how do you load this samurai library into the Arduino IDE and how do you use it? Well, let me show you how to do that. First step is to go to JCM Education the uh, support and resources page and just roll right down to the bottom and I have a little entry here called Samurai Libraries and uh, there's samurai.zip so download that and put it in well just download it to your download directory you don't have to unzip it just leave it in the zip file once you've done that go back to your uh, go back to your sketch and uh, go to include file add zip library and once you're there, you go to where the uh, samurai.zip is put. I think I stuck it in downloads. You find it and you select it. And there it is over there. So I'll, I'll select samurai.zip, click on open, and uh, you'll get a little message in a little blue, blue, blue bar saying that the library is now included. So next time you go to the sketch, include library, and roll down to the bottom, there it is, right? So if I was to click on samurai, you notice your program now has a, a new line, first line in the program that says include samurai.h, include all the things I know about uh, work in the samurai. Another cool thing that you get with these uh, libraries are example programs. And, and Phil wrote a few example programs which you can reach really easy now. You go to the file menu, click on examples, and go down to the bottom and it says examples from custom library samurai so i'm going to click on that and then we'll choose basic sumo and then you're gonna you're gonna get a uh, arduino sketch pop up that is the basic sumo sketch and it's got all the instructions in here on how to uh, how to make the robot a killer sumo wrestling robot including uh, uh, how to charge forward how to pull back how to spin counterclockwise how to spin clockwise all the stuff you got to do when you're a sumo robot we have instructions in the at the beginning here that tells you what kind of gearing you chose remember uh, you'll go backwards if you have the wrong kind of gearing so he can choose the 38 to 1 or 114 to 1 or the 344 to 1 by just changing this for your for your robot um, this is how long it's going to back up for one second. This is how long it's going to spin for three quarters of a second. This is um, this is how long it's going to delay before it starts moving five seconds. You can change all these numbers. Here's a speed limit. You want to go faster? Make it make this number larger. You want to go slower? Make that number slower. 
Uh, this controls the sensitivity of your eyeballs, the down-facing sensors. So if you find that it's too sensitive, um, you can you can detune them a little bit by lowering and increasing this number. So you can play with all of those numbers in the uh, basic sumo and download it to your robot and make it behave exactly how you want to. Now in a different time we'll sit down and we're going to talk about all the detailed instructions in specifically for this. But for now I just wanted you to get uh, get that library loaded and ready to go.